Hey guys, it's my last full day here in Calcutta and I'm really excited about the food I'm about to eat today. There's one dish in particular I am so psyched about because yesterday I thought I had some of the best mutton since coming to India. But one of my local friends here recommended a place he swears is the greatest mutton he's ever had. And plus he says that thing is on fire, like literally. But before all that, I'm here in Shine Bazaar and I figure I start today off with something sweet. Hey guys, so this is my, my friend Hello. Sagor, and he's gonna be showing me around today. And you said we're gonna start off with some sweets. Yeah. What are we eating? So there are multiple kinds of sweets here. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, one of the best ones are chocolate ones, and there are also some flavored ones. So this is one of the oldest places from where uh, the sweet is exported to all over India. And, oh, it's and, exported all over and India. And even the Bollywood stars order their sweets for really? their, the programs from here. Oh, really? Yeah. It was really so, famous, huh? Okay, well, you know what to get? So, let's try something. So, so we got a box of sweets here. What did we get? Okay, this is the uh, rose water flavored sweet. This is soft and this is uh, pure milk. And sugar, okay. Pistachio. And uh, this is from saffron. Saffron. Yeah, and this one is uh, really popular. This is in the shape of palm fruit. So let's let's try some of these. Um, this kind of looks like a crown. I should be wearing this instead of eating this. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is like really syrupy, yeah. like really thin syrup. And this is made of the sugar from dates. That's really sweet. Well, that woke me up. I feel like I need like a like a big jug of tea to yeah. eat this with. Um, so this is really interesting. This is really really gentle. Whoa, this is awesome. This is my favorite one too. This is awesome. It, it just like it just breaks apart in your mouth. It just crumples everywhere. What I like is that it's not dry. It's rose water infused throughout this dessert, but it's very moist. There's almost like rose water just, just gathered in the bottom of this thing. So this is the milk skin, look at that. So the milk skin is pretty dense. So this one was a little harder to break apart. I really like that one. The milk skin just gives it a nice, slightly little more dense chew. That flavor, you can taste the curd. That might be one of my favorite pieces. And I noticed this This isn't as sweet as some of the soaked in uh, syrup uh, Indian desserts. Bengalis really like their milk more. Yeah, so there's more milk and, in this. And the authentic sweet sauce, they, the milk to sugar ratio is really high. Uh, that's really evident here. And this guy, you, you're saying this guy's been doing it for a long, long time. Yeah. And yeah, guys, try come and try this place out. Like, this is fantastic. Now that we ate sweets in the morning, which, you know what? Who let's says you can't have dessert for breakfast? What so are we going after this? Let's um, eat some uh, big lunch. Okay. We're gonna have a big lunch? Yeah. You said a couple of the words I love, big and lunch. All right, we're at our first stop for lunch and we're also joined by uh, Sars friend Bianca. Welcome, she's a, also a foodie. So what, what is this restaurant and what are we eating? The place is really well known for its service, quality um, of food. Okay. So is this considered Bengali cuisine? Uh, yeah. We are in the city known for Bengali cuisine, so let's see some more Bengali cuisine. All right, this, this first dish, it looks like a very Chinese influenced dish. Yeah. Yeah. We have only chicken and mutton in general in India. Yeah. So uh, they put chicken meatballs in here. Uh -huh. uh, it's a, a Chinese influence too. All right, let, let's let's try it. I'm excited. Mmm. Yeah. That's great. There is spice too. Oh my gosh. Mmm. It's a little sour and it's really spicy. This chicken soup's got a lot of personality. I love anything with a sour and spicy profile. I feel like food in India, there's, it's always gonna be pretty heavily flavored. I mean, I might be more on board with your Chinese food because like, man, you, you guys really laid the spice everywhere and that, that's how I like to roll. I also feel like this is something that is really different than what I've been eating texture-wise and everything else the last few days. Ooh, bring on the fire. I mean, bring on more fire. Is this Indian Chinese food as well? Yeah. That's so because it kind of resembles like a sweet and sour chicken or like a cashew chicken. So we get a piece of the fish. So these are like fish medallions almost. Yeah. Um, what kind of fish is this again? A bit cute. A lot of muscle in the yeah. fish. Nah, no, can't wait to try this fire chicken. Whew, mouth is still on fire while eating the fire chicken. Does that make it doubly fiery? <laughs> I might be able to breathe fire after this. A little sweet. Oh wow, this would be fantastic with rice. I just got tons of flavor. Sweet, 
very spicy. That's like the common theme of, uh, of a lot of the foods I had today. Yeah. Like, if, even if it's a sweet, even if it's whatever, it's always gonna be really spicy. Yeah. Like, the flavor is much heavier than if it was cooked by a Chinese restaurant. Garlic, cashews, scallions, really, really nice. Feel the burn, my friend. Yeah. Feel the burn. Bianca, you burn it? Yeah. At, when I first tasted it, I feel like it's maybe sweet. Yeah. After just it, it just hit me. How's your, spe how's your spice tolerance? Mm. No? Well, I don't you... like spicy food at all. You don't like spicy food? Oh my gosh. Now let's try this fish. I have the chunny right here. Whoa, this is fish? You're not kidding when you're talking about a muscular fish. Yeah. Look at this. 10 out of 10 times I would have said this is chicken. <laughs> no, this is fish. Right? But when you chew it, it will be soft. Look at this thing. You know, there's a US commercial says, yeah. that's, that's with Fabio. It says, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> I can't believe it's not chicken. Check this out. Oh, okay. Once you bite it, you know it's fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like chicken, but the taste is distinctively fish. Very tender, very crispy on the outside. Soup is good, this dish is fantastic. I mean, this fish is so such a clean flavor yeah. to it, right? So I don't know about Star Kiss, whatever, but this is really chicken of the sea, or chicken of the river. This is awesome. Man, look at that. Hey, I, I think this is a pretty fitting drink for me. Mm. Nice and smooth, nice and fruity. I like the color. I'm gonna keep this little umbrella, I think. All right, so Mutsin is here. Better be good, man. You got my hopes up. All right, so uh, first of all, let me just taste this on its own. Oh, this is like like saturated with meat. Oh, look at this piece. This has tons of fat. I love pieces of meat with tons of fat. Mutton day to me. Here we go. This is like a mutton taco. Right here, right here. And I love that, like I said, it's so saturated with meat. Every part of it is just mutton. So Bengali fish, look at that. Oh, this is pretty darn flaky. Beautiful white fish meat. Mmm. I call these types of dishes NCNs. It means no chewing necessary. Because I put anything in my mouth like as a dish, I, I'm prepared to kind of chew it. And like with this one, I was gonna chew, but then I realized I'm just chewing the rice. Fish taco myself. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Fish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It, it's just melted everywhere. So this way, I get more. I get the fish in every single bite. <laughs> what am I getting? This is like one bite. Mm. All right, we're gonna eat all this, and then we got some more food coming up. All right. After that great meal, we're. You're here for ice cream? Yeah. They make their authentic things from the fruits. Yeah. Real fruits yeah. in front of you. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's also mine. Mm. This is my favorite type of rose. The edible ones. Mm. Ladies, wouldn't you rather get this type of rose than just like a rose that dies in like seven days? Just ask him. Let me know. Musk melon is awesome. Oh, it's, it's, it's very, very fragrant ice cream. Mm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a little ice cream break. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are at lunch number two. You like yeah. lunch number two? Yeah. It's much better than lunch number one. Bring on the tribal food. So this is chicken cooked inside the banana leaf, and it's just the banana leaves really used as an oven here. Yeah. And look at how charred this is. It contains all this. It's all sweaty on the outside. Like it just went for a run. Oh my gosh, look at this. You smell that already from your end? Yeah, it's already smelling really incredible, right? Look at this. This is uh, chicken, tribal spices. And I see some, definitely see a lot of, oh, look at, this whole thing was on fire. I got it, I got it. He's, he's afraid I'm gonna burn myself, which I might. Look at this. Whoa, I never seen something so cool in my life. It's not like the bamboo is wrapped in something. It's like the bamboo is lit and this thing is still crackling yeah. it's still lit oh can i open it yeah he, he's a, i gotta give it to the professional whoa look at that oh nice look at this yo that smells so good here what's this squid squid butter garlic squid all right all right let, let's let's dine all right tribal cuisine nice i'm gonna go for the squid first and it's like some chunks of green onions in here. It's covered in garlic. 
Oh, isn't this one of the most glorious things ever? Wow. Wow. It was nice and bouncy. I'm really digging the spring onions here. This thing, it's just slightly garlicky. It's more sweet than anything else. This is a fantastic dish. I love the gravy. I, I'm loving, I'm loving all the garlic that's on the outside. This, this is fantastic. I think this would be great over rice as well. It's not as heavy-handed flavored as, as um, a lot of the cuisines we have so far, but it's perfect. All right, I'm gonna try this banana leaf thing. The smoke on that baby. Mm. Oh, the smoke on that meat. First thing you notice when you put this in your mouth is just the smoke. I mean, you can tell, look how charred all the leaves are. The more I eat it, the more I love it. This is like, this is like a relationship type of chicken. It's not just like a dating type of chicken, you know? Mm. We got one more thing to try. This is was, was in that uh, crazy charred bamboo that you saw earlier. I love the smoke from that. I do. It's very pronounced. It's fantastic. The chicken is, is a little dry. Yeah. Um, that might be the driest piece of chicken I had in India so far. Usually chicken in India is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's very juicy. This one is a little dry. The flavor is great. Again, I love the smokiness of it. I love the presentation. Oh, this chicken is all the way. All right, so we're gonna finish this up. And we got more stuff. Because, oh, so where we're going next is kind of what I alluded to earlier in the video. We're gonna go eat a mutton again, because we've been eating a lot of mutton since we got to India, because that's a primary, um, you know, yes. But this one is on fire. I was told it was on fire. Yeah. Not, not really. No, it will, it will, it will be served with fire. But there, there's fire going on, yeah. so it's still pretty cool. But let's start, I can't wait to get to that because that looks like it's just a monster dish. So there are strains of chicken, big chunks of chicken uh -huh. with a spicy sauce, uh -huh. a spicy gravy, uh -huh. and Afghan spices. I've grabbed some nun, oh, it's butter. Beautiful, let's do it. Mm-hmm. What? This is the best chicken I've had in a long time. Wow. Awesome chicken fist bump. There you go. There you go. This is such a juicy piece of chicken, right? The sauce is a little tomatoey. I feel like the, the tomato flavor in this dish is probably the most um, pronounced of all any dishes I've had so far in India. It's a little sweet, slight little bit of tart flavor. Absolutely fantastic. I thought initially that this dish wouldn't really be able to hold a candle to this dish. Yeah. So we figured we eat this first, but that's so good. Well, let's try it. So again, my friend yesterday told me that this is the best mutton he's ever had in his life. Let me know if that's true. This is borderline enlightenment. There is so much different types of spices here. It's different than the mutton I had yesterday um, at the biryani. That one was just really tender, succulent, juicy. This is more just, I feel like this is more about the spices yeah. utilized here. How good do you think this is? Um, I'd not uh, say that this is the best mutton I've had, uh -huh. but maybe um, uh, top five mutton. I'll top five. take it in the top five list. All right, Bianca, what do you think? For me, the same thing. This is not for me also the best, uh -huh. but it's good. I'm just gonna take take a leg and see, see what's yeah. going on here. Let's, let's see. Okay, so they really just just took this down to the bone. Seriously, there's really not even much meat on. There's like z almost zero meat on. They did a good job cleaning this thing. I don't know if this mutton is supposed to be juicy or not because it's not juicy. But I almost feel like flavors are just all about the chew because the more you chew, the more the spices release. And the, and the flavor is fantastic. It's just that it's not juicy, it's not moist. Is that is this still good to you guys? Um, yes, um, we come here and eat this a number of times. Yeah. It's really extraordinary what they did with the spices. Like I said again, this spice is the star here. And the mutton is good, but the way they manipulated the spices to just extract this type of flavor is pretty phenomenal. Bianca, what was the best thing you had today? What do you think? Uh, chicken. The chicken. This chicken right here. 
I this chicken is the best meal uh, of the day. I think. You think so as well? This chicken. This chicken is ridiculous. Like it's absolutely just crazy, ridiculously juicy and delicious. I mean, I feel like tomato is not something you see like plump slices of tomato. I know they exist because the, the a lot of the curries in, in the gravy is based on tomato, but just leaving chunks of plump tomatoes in there makes such a huge difference. And you guys, this has like been an awesome day. Thank you so much for showing me around town. And uh, you know, we had some good foods together and uh, even better company. So that was like, you know, that's that's what good meals are based off of. Like it's, it's just insane how crazy good the food is here. But man, let's, so we're gonna finish this meal. I and mean, again, thank you guys so much for being on the show and uh, showing me around and, and getting all this great food together. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, all the uh, places we went to is located for you in my description box below. So until we all eat again, see you later. Bye. Bye.